I'd like to welcome in Kevin Green, senior markets correspondent for the network, for developing story on Darden Restaurant. So we're modestly lower, Kevin, and I will say that this was objectively a pretty strong report. I saw that consumers are spending less on alcohol this year in fine dining versus 2022, which led to some weakness in their same store sales. I thought that was hilarious. I'm sure that's not hugely why we're seeing this like negative reaction, but pulling back on alcohol because it's gotten expensive to booze at restaurants, which I can I can very much attest to, honestly. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I mean, when we look at the price action over the last 24 hours, it's actually remarkable here. This morning, we actually dropped down to around $153.51. That was a 200-day SMA, and we actually saw some buyers coming back in and stepping back in. For the most part, the stock's down maybe a quarter of a percent today. I think that's a win, to say the least, based on the price action this morning. The revenue did come in slightly below the street's expectations. It came in at $2.73 billion. The street was looking for 2.74 billion, but that does account for around a 9.7% increase on a year over year basis. And that's because of the Ruth Chris Steakhouse locations that have been able to drive same store sales growth. They also beat the street's expectations when it came to the adjusted earnings per share that came in at $1.84 versus the estimate of $1.71. And they also raised their outlook for the full fiscal year. Now, some of the areas of it where they saw some weakness, they are expecting to see foot traffic actually going down next year. Year, and they do see that consumers are a little bit more selective when it comes to their purchasing uh, you know, habits, if you will, as you kind of already discussed here. But one thing that they did also note, which is a tailwind for them, is inflation. And infl if inflation comes down for their business, that will expand margins, which is why we saw that guidance being pushed to the upside or being adjusted to the upside. So I think overall it was a decent report. I think some of the commentary may have spooked investors, but we did see some technical buying coming in. And I think if you are a long holder, you have to be a little bit more confident that some buyers do find some value at, uh, for the stock, at least at these levels. You know, we always think of this company with Olive Garden, and it seems the Olive Garden uh, same source sales uh, were, were pretty impressive, rising 4.1%. Uh, and from what I've seen, you know, kind of a, this has been given credit to uh, its never-ending pasta bowl promotion, uh, which I didn't even know was out there. Now I need to go to an Olive Garden and, and, and check that out if that's still going on. But uh, Kev, it seems that the big story of this was the expanding margins. Um, how much of those uh, kind of cost pressures coming down as we've seen PPI uh, pressures come down, uh, but we've also seen the consumer price inflation uh, numbers kind of screech to a halt here as well. Is this still a potential boon going forward or have we seen the effects kind of work their way through the system already? I think we might still see some deflationary pressures when it comes to Olive Garden and their inventory purchases, especially if you're looking at red meat and beef and things of that nature. There's still some price uh, movement to the downside that they could realize, and that's going to expand margins. I think the question is, Alex, like you're kind of alluding to here, when are they going to have to cut the prices on the menus in order to spark demand? I don't think that we're there yet. I think they're going to try to harvest the improvement in margins for as much as possible before having to cut prices here. And right now, I mean, if you're looking at the CPI trends and you're looking at the retail sales data from earlier this week, uh, there's a lot of uh, consumers that are going out and, and spending money on dining and experiences. So that has not slowed. It just seems like they're going to certain pockets of the experience. And so I think right now they're just going to be waiting on the margin expansion and then try to hold off as much as possible before they have to actually cut prices, which will squeeze the margins. They'll probably try to reduce expenses before trying to cut any margins moving forward. Yeah, and I think that's a really good point, Kevin. It just seems like consumers are shifting the way they spend, not necessarily spending less, like was the huge narrative earlier this year. I feel like every single economic data point and earnings call we see, the fact that we're seeing spending, it's just evolving here. But we will leave it there. Really great breakdown on all things Darden restaurants. Kevin Green, Senior Markets Correspondent for The Network.